Da -da -da -da. Hey there, everyone. This is Okao playing Zelda. All right. So, uh, hi. Hey, how's it going? Uh, yeah. So, uh, we are here. Last time we started a game, and we went inside the Deku Tree, and we ate all its ravioli. And now we're going out of there. Whoa, there, fish guy. Rude. So, uh, so okay. So I feel like it's important to point out how I'm doing this. So, like I've said. This is a game I am very aware of, but my goal isn't to be like super efficient. It isn't like to go everything and do everything and like do it very well. I just want to organically play the game and when we get to things, we get to things. Like I know generally where I want to go to places and I will be heading there sometimes, you know. Like, we're gonna miss out on me, like, assiduously exploring every part of land and stuff. Like, I'm not gonna go out of my way in ways that I feel unnatural. So I'm not sure what kind of vibe this is gonna end up being, but it's what we're doing. Yeah, I'm taking the time to destroy these things. Like, I want money. Like, I'm just gonna say it straight out. Money is good to have. Uh, I haven't bought anything, and there's a lot of things the game expects you to buy. So, uh, I'm- okay, you can stun these, by the way. Uh, whoops. I- I don't think there's a difference in strength, actually, between your real sword and the sword beam, right? I'm kind of used- like, in the older games, this is gonna start to be a thing. Uh, I don't want to fight the P-Hats, though. Their names are gross. But, ah, uh, you know what, yeah, this, this screen, not worth fighting. Check it out, it's a big rock. Check it out, it's our friend, the Tektite. Pretty sure I've named enemies in other games Tektite. Like, they're a very specific niche of critter to me. The enemy that just hops around and is a pest. Last time, also, I got bombs, remember that? Put bombs somewhere and it blows up. Then sometimes we mess up. There is a space to bomb here somewhere. I know this. Okay, this is like right on the side. You want to make a nose. Okay, like my memory isn't perfect. Anyways, this is so rude. So this is a one-time thing. You can get a sweet bottle of ketchup or it can get a heart. Yeah, I found a heart. This is a one shot. You, know, you go here, it's not going to have more heart and more fizzies. This is it. One time Johnny. Guess what? <laughs> there is exactly enough hearts in the game to give you all the hearts you need for heart purposes. That sounds really dumb the way I said. Oh, I don't want to die here. At the beach? Near the waves? Are you kidding me? Yeah, like Sheath. Uh, you can just like tank rocks to the face. It's fine. Is there anything up here, or is this starting to go into places I don't know if I want to go? Let's just check it out. I don't know. I'm in the mountains now. All right. Maybe if I had bombs, there'd be some values to looking around here. Anything up here, though, huh? A laser shot in the back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! Here. Right. Show this to the old woman. You know, this. This piece of paper. That's right. It made a man disappear. You get like an, a, a relative map up in the top left corners. You don't really get like any signposting at all about where anything is. But you do get approximate locations. <laughs> oh boy, my favorite. Uh, welcome to Dogland Country. And yeah, they're moblins. Uh, if you've watched the Zelda cartoon, I feel like the moblins were everywhere. Well, they're everywhere in this game, too, so... Oh boy, I'm just getting bopped! I need to stun enemies more! I'm just gonna say, hey, more bombs. You know what? Good. Because... I am attracted to the idea of blowing up a thing right here. Yeah, so the game wants you to blow things up. There's no real indication, but this is a secret to everybody. Hey, 30 dollars! It's like a dollar, but with a B! It's not what I wanted, but it is what I got. <laughs> Alright, get out of here, statue. Yeah, so statues are come alive. Sometimes... Whoa! I got shoved right in. Into a secret to everybody! Yeah, you might have heard that sentence at some point in the past. It's... 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 it's a quote. 
Our statue. Whoa, you're you're a bit too. No! That did not go the way I wanted. There was a swing to to that boomerang. I did not expect. You know what? This might not be the worst thing in the world. It gives us more octopus to destroy, but also. It puts me right at this place, this store I want to go. Like, that wall I blew up, it was secret to everybody. I thought it was a secret store. But I'm gonna get store stuff right here anyways. Check that out. Yeah, we're gonna buy stuff. I will buy something. I will buy this candle. That's right, I am now Bimmy the candle holder. I'm holding so many candles. Anyways, hey there everyone, this is Aokao, we're playing The Legend of Zelda, and if you look at a manual, and read a manual like the game asks you to, it'll tell you, it actually helps you out a little bit, but tells you to go up north to the first dungeon, and then it tells you to go west somewhere, so we were allowed to do that. This way you can do with a candle. Give a fire to an elf. Okay. So, I think this is a bad part of this game. But yeah, give money to an elf, and I think then he's just gone. First of all, it's just a tree. They will start burning things! It's pretty great! But yeah, so like, the game clearly wants you to explore, it wants you to break things, bomb walls... And sometimes we'll just outright punish you for that, and I always thought that was super weird. Cause you get- you can get some good things, oh boy, under- under the bushes. But sometimes, uh, you get punished for it. Anyways, I'm gonna try and burn this tree. Yeah, that's right, it's like I know. Dang it! There's not even a door! You don't own a door! It's a tree! Let me burn all your trees in peace. I don't think you need to kill everything for uh, a door secret to unveil, but I don't know. I don't know nothing. Oh, yeah, you can burn yourself on your own fire, too, so be careful. I'm gonna try to burn this tree now. It didn't do nothing. Check it out, it's the forest lake. A thing that is flying all over the place. But here's more octopus just on the ground. Destroy the world. Uh, some oh, 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 oh. You can try and burn an enemy. It's hard. Also, for totally technical imitation, you can't you can only burn the once. Also, you got fairy pounds. Check it out. You can get healed. But yeah, see, like, press the button once. Yeah, if I press it again, I'm mashing it. I'm mashing B and nothing's going on. Look, you can only realistically burn things a limited amount of time. It would be absolutely ludicrous to let the player do any more than that. Be realistic. Yes! Here. Okay. Uh. Yeah, remember how I got, like, a bow last time? Yeah, you need to buy your arrows. <laughs> I think that's so weird. Alright, well, here we got the yellow dog, man. They're a bit less strong. Can you burn any of these trees? They have that vibe to them, but because you only got one flame per screen... Uh, if you want to try several trees like that, you kind of have to walk in and walk back out. I'm glad to be able to provide this experience. Now, I think the tree you want to burn is, like, in the hallway. Right? To the side? Well, I'm still gonna try. This is what I remember Zelda being a lot. At some point, despair sets in, and you're just bombing every wall and burning every tree. Or at least attempting to do as such. And it is completely mind-numbing. It's the best. That would be enough. That would be close enough. But I think that... This guy burns? Yeah, okay, no, it's the third guy that burns. Close enough. See, like, you don't need to be precise. Uh, as long as the sprite of the flame touches something. Oh, 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 oh! So the old woman, uh, let this, it's a letter. Yeah! There you go, see? See the old man that offered either a still beating heart or a potion? Yeah, uh, you can buy potions. <laughs> 
Do not take the exchange. Just no. It is a bad idea. It is completely and utterly uh, a, a scam. A beginner trap. It's very rude. I don't know, just that tree in particular. I just don't like it. Okay, uh, I think I need to be a bit more north-ish for to be where I want to be. I'm not sure though. Oh, now we're in the desert, so maybe not. Okay, um... Yeah! Where do we want to be at this point? I know I want more money. Uh, there is so many things I need to buy. And a lot of it is so expensive. So I am going to take the time to destroy some people. This is the tree place. It's pretty great. Some people would call that a forest. I think some screen layouts get reused, right? Which is why sometimes I get confused about where you can burn a thing or not. Alright, well I got the blue coin there, and that's worth five! Whoa, it's not really a coin. Hey, here we go, that's where I wanted to be. It's the Octorog Zone! Everyone wants to visit the Octorog Zone! Not... I don't know who, who that would be, but I did say everyone, so that has to be true, otherwise I'm a liar, you know, that just kinda... Kinda explains itself. Whoa, check it out! It's a very bored temple! It's very sleepy. It's like, oh, just sitting here, my mouth agape all day. Welcome to level two. It's a pretty short one, I think. Let's just go in. Let's just go in and do things. Yeah, blue room. It's snakes. Do you like snake? I think snakes are super rad. Oh, oh, I got hurt there. Snakes are rad, and you get a key. Pretty great, yes siree. Check out this room. Whoa, it's more snakes. Wow. And so, whoa, check it out. I got angry red eyes. Oh no! Oh, it was going fast! It was a speedy snake! Could go to the side. I don't know if I want to. Can go here, which you could have gone from over the start. It's snake zone. Uh oh, I was facing the wrong way somehow. I don't know how that happened. I mean that legitimately. I do not know how that happened. Gonna go to this door now, it's pretty great. Check it out, it's tiled and there's a key. Ah! Uh, that's right, it's my powerful counter move. Press button on time. It's pretty good. And then you get to eat delicious snake organs for lunch. Uh, and you can throw your banana and then you, you, you go. That's it's pretty good. I got a key, I can go to the side there if I so desire, but do I so desire? I don't know. Got more of the gorillas. That's their names. I don't know if it means anything. They're not part. Yeah. So sometimes you kill a guy and it kills all the other guys. It happens. Don't worry about it. I feel like I shouldn't have picked up that bomb because, because as you could see there, my max is a cannot carry more than eight bombs. That's stupid. Stop being an idiot. Alright, I guess we're just gonna keep going up. Welcome to the sand room. There's this thing. It's a bit abstract, but, you know, we're gonna make it work. I guess you could pretend that that's like a, 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 a caterpillar. Very fuzzy caterpillar. Nothing says fuzz like a laser. Oh yeah, so you get, like, key. Keys are good. Use keys to open doors. We've seen, like, a thousand open doors in this temple alone. But I'm just not opening. What's wrong with me? I don't know. Kill a snake, alright? Get money. There we go. I can afford arrows if I want to buy arrows. Anyone interested in selling me arrows? It's the Goria room again. Are these all these blocks? Oh no! What are we going to do about all these blocks? Like, in reality, like, you wouldn't be seeing anything in this room. It'd just be, wow, there's just columns everywhere. I'm assuming that... Oh yeah, so I'm not gonna pick up that in case I need it. They're giving me a lot of bombs. That's a little suspect. We're gonna come back to you. <laughs> that may or may not be the, the, the boss of the temple. I don't know. I'm gonna go in this door instead. I haven't gotten anything. Oh no, it's my bane. This is it. The anti-bimmy alchemical element. Beware. Get free money. Well, it's not free. It was at a cost of labor. Hi! The Dongo does like smoke! Cl whoa, okay. <laughs> Classic. 
classic, uh, quote. Well, I mean, you can see, like, that. You can see, like, where there are doors, clearly, where you haven't been to. Alright, well, that's nice. Um, yeah, Dongo does not like smoke. Like, people smoke less nowadays, but back when this game was released, you couldn't go into any places, like, any public space. Didn't have some idiot smoking somewhere. Alright, well, here's more bomb pickups. Gao Cow, clearly the game here wants you to bomb things up. Look, this is the part where I, I, I'm going to reveal, you know, I'm, I'm speaking out of someone who has played this game here. These guys respond. I'm pretty sure you don't need to bomb anything up till a point. Whoa, look at that. They're blue. They're special. They're wearing their hottest jeans and uh, the gargoyles on the side are not fans and they're letting out their frustration on me I don't think that's very nice I might die here especially as I do not feel well yeah I do not feel very precise okay that's fair we'll come back you always respond with three hearts by the way that's a decision it's my favorite decision. Uh, alright. Well, you know what? No, this is an opportunity to make more money. That's the way I see it. So, we haven't been on the side here. See, like, that's just something you can apply in real life, you know? In real life, you kinda need money. Dying helps, I guess. It does not, actually. That's the opposite. <laughs> Uh, video games are not a conduit for very good lessons. Alright, by the way, whoa, check it out. There is a glowy bit. Unbelievable. Never thought I'd see such a thing before in my days. Good. Alright, I haven't been here. Yeah, so, I mean, I feel like the game has been pretty clear up to now. There's a certain, like, code going on where warm colored, you know, you're gonna get warm colored and cold. Really? And it means the the blue ones are tougher, but there uh, that was just hubris. What I need is my sword being back. I'm gonna be real. Oh, thank you. Da I need is my sword being back again. What's here? I haven't opened this door yet. It's room with squares and hey, check out the map. Hey, look at that shape of that thing. We are in the Temple of the Moon. It's kind of moon shape. It's a kind of a man moon. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. And here we can see I have entered every room in, in the place except for the room that's past that dinosaur we briefly saw. Right, do I just have like a free key? Like there's a key I clearly haven't used. <laughs> All right. I mean, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll take the free key. Alright, but there's the blue jean area. Oh, I'm not gonna have a beam for the blue jeans wearers. So I was like, I could just sit back and get shot by the gargoyles. That's not gonna happen. Alright, so I think I have to be a lot more meticulous about this. You have, you have to be precise uh, with your movement, with your mashing. Oh, oh, and not let that happen? I would advise not letting that happen. Take three! Oh, god damn it. I, I was pressing the attack button, I swear. God damn it. I'm. Nope. I didn't mean that for that to go diagonal, too. Diagonals are actually really sensitive. Alright, take. Four? I got beams! I don't know if that's gonna matter all that much. Because my issue is that uh, it's very easy to just. Yeah. To do that. Look, I swear this is gonna be worth it though. Okay, okay. Nope. Nope. Oh, I need that. Like, for real. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, turning around is surprisingly hard. Anyway, you get the blue boomerang. <laughs> That's the treasure! Every temple has a treasure. What is blue boomerang just goes more long. It's not a key in any way. 
It is not necessary. No, the fuzzy caterpillar doesn't come back. It is not, yeah, a key in any way, shape, or form. It just goes more long. It doesn't do more damage. It is strictly just a, uh, you know, a convenience improvement. Uh, something that becomes rarer as the series advances, I feel like. Alright, we did it. Get hit. But now they're all go green. I don't... I think all it changes the color palette. I don't think their, like, boomerangs changed. God damn it, I keep, like, just... Uh, just keep, like, getting hurt in a stupid way. Anyways, it's boss time. Mr. Guy. Uh, gonna be real. The boss is really more a puzzle boss than a hard boss. Although I might still die in a stupid way. I don't know. Check out Sodongo. That's what they look like. Here you go, eat this stupid bomb. Yeah, just eat it. Yeah, just put it in your face and then die. There we go. That was Dongo. Jean's Goria were a much more powerful foe than the actual boss. Just gonna go ahead and say it. <laughs> it's all good. He was just alone in his sand, blue sand room. I don't know, maybe it's just the lighting. Hey, true tries force out of eight. Never mind a tree in there, that means three. Uh, and at this point, the manual kind of stops helpfully guiding you. So, you know, figure it out yourself, idiot. That's the game. I want to destroy- Oh, what? What? Oh my god, I just got like super destroyed. You guys like give anything? Living statue people? Like, give me a- Reimburse my, my health drop here. Yeah, I know it was entirely my fault. Whatever, I don't care. Whoa! Yeah, uh, they have random speed. Sometimes they go fast. I don't know, I get the feeling like they don't really have- <laughs> Yeah, 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 I don't wanna die. I don't think they drop anything! Yeah, like, there's a way to time it so that you can just like, eh, hit it with your boomerang. But, uh, I'm not nailing it in the slightest. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like the fact that I have destroyed this entire statuary and didn't get anything, I don't think I can get anything out of these guys. It's just, yeah, no, I just destroyed a whole bunch of priceless art. You did it, Bimmy. You did it.